you recognize Professor Mario Riva of uh, Portugal. The second award is being given, um, sadly, posthumously. Um, Professor Riva passed away on the 25th of January, uh, just a little over a month ago. So this award is in recognition of his vision of a data and information network in Africa and his decades of support to IOC and IODE. So Professor Rivo had this vision of a data network back in 1988. So just think about that timing. That's before the internet. And he conceived of a network, a connected network, that people could use to exchange data and information um, between the African states. He sponsored, um, as the IOC Executive Secretary, a mission to eight East African countries to investigate the feasibility of an electronic network between countries in that region that would enable search and publications in a bibliographic database and to send messages. This is extraordinary that this man had this vision in the late 80s. That mission led to Flanders supporting the first Odin Africa pilot project, which was called and I'm not going to say this right, RICO 6 WIO, I'm not sure how that's pronounced. It's, it's a very long acronym. Without that initial sponsorship, we doubt that Odin Africa ever would have become a reality. But even after Professor Rebo left IOC, he retired in 1990. He continued to be a strong supporter of IODE, but even more so of the capacity development aspect of this work. Portugal, through his strong support, hosted the 16th session of IOD in 2000, where Professor Rigo again showed his strong support for IOD. For all the aforementioned reasons, we are very proud to award Professor Rigo this IOD Achievement Award. I would ask the committee um, if we could just have a moment of silence to honor and remember uh, Professor Lee. Thank you, Peter, you might want to pan around. Thank you very much. So, um, Professor Rico's wife is not able to join us for this, but we're hoping that during the IOC assembly in Paris in June, uh, that we will have another um, ceremony where the award can be um, given to his wife. But we're very fortunate um, today to have Claudia Delgado, who was a former student of, of the professors, and she will be accepting the award uh, and then pass it on to his wife. I was, um, I had the pleasure and the privilege to meet uh, Professor Mario Guigo in 1997. I was a student at the university at the time, and he, he taught us uh, concepts of sustainable development, which was rather new at the time. And I recall uh, long and lively discussions on the United Nations Law of the Sea and the difference between a, a rocket. Uh, uh, yeah, a rock and, um, and an island, and um, the impact it has on the countries in the EEZ and the discussions that, come, that can come out of, out of it. Um, it certainly left a very good impression and, um, and his, his, uh, his influence in, on us was very strong. At the time, I could not imagine that a good 12 years later uh, I would come across uh, again with him when I started working uh, for IBE and especially during the discussions uh, on the capacity development strategy, the strategy for IOC. He was certainly a, a, a strong influence uh, on me and, and on my colleagues. So it's a, a pleasure to receive 